nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello, time for some eight ball. And I will show you now how to run the rack. If there is a problem on the table, and often you get some problems, very often in the eight ball. If the opponent breaks the balls, it is your turn. Will you pick the solids or will you pick the stripes? Ah, the seven is a problem there. Let's see what we can do. I would like to pick the stripes here. Pick the seven. I can't make a seven anywhere, but uh, uh, the, third, the eleven ball. I can make the eleven in that corner pocket. So if I'm here on, if I make the fifteen in the corner, I have a good shot on the eleven in that corner. So I will, I will do that. I will pick the stripes. Stripes I will pick. On this shot I can also break open the eleven here, but it might end up in a tougher place than it already is. Uh, so here, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with left spin on this shot. I want to go be below the 15, so I use left spin. Maybe go one red, two reds, come up uh, out here. That's a good, good solution. I will do that. A lot of left spin. There you go. And then I was too short here, no problem. I can, I can make the, the 10 ball. I can make the 10 ball. I need to make sure to slow down the cue ball. Uh, slow down the cue ball on the rail there. And then I can make the 15 in the side. So I will do that. At the right spin. There you go, slow down on the rail with the right spin. Now I make the 15 in, in, the, in the corner and then, then I can finally make the 11 ball and fix the problem. I want to have a cut shot on the 11. Uh, let's, let's see. If I'm straight in on the 11, I will have a shot on the 14, but I don't want to be stuck uh, behind this, the 7 ball here. I don't, I don't like that. I can make the 11 in the side pocket as well. Roll it in, stop here with the cue ball. Have the choice of the 14 or the, or the 12. Yeah. Ooh, I will make, yeah, I will make, I will do that. I will make a stop shot. I can either make the 11 in the side or in the corner. Just if I make a stop shot on the, on the 15 here. There. Let's see what we got. Should I make it in the side pocket? If I make it in the side pocket, I think I'm going to hit the one ball on the right side. And then I will have a shot on the 14. Uh, if, I, if I make it in the corner, I'm going to end up getting a cut shot on the, on the 14. So those are the two, two possibilities of what can happen. And I don't think I, I will hit the 7 ball. I might hit the 7 ball thing end up going too far. That's a possibility. Oh, tough, very tough. You need to look at the 90 degree angle. Q ball is going to hit the 7 ball very soon if I shoot hard. So yeah, so I'm going to use a little bit, uh, little bit of left spin because of that reason. Ooh, I, I, did not, I did not hit the 7. I, I was expecting to hit the 17. I did not. And now I don't, I don't have a shot on the 14. I have the backup ball, the, the 12 ball I have a backup. So I can make that. And now I need to play position. The only way I see here is to hit the rail there, there hit the two ball. And the two ball will after the two ball the cue ball will end up going going here. Maybe hit the one ball on the way up. That's my only only choice I have. Hit the two ball, hit the one ball, have position on the 14 ball. I hit that too thin. Hit that way too thin. I have a shot on the 14 there. That was a tough shot. I will, I will do. I will select the other, other choice I had to make the 11 in the side pocket instead. Make the 11 in the side, hit the, hit the one ball with the cue ball. It is, a it is much tougher to make the 11 in the side. Ah, and I missed it. I completely missed. I will do it again. Much tougher to make the 11 inside. 
they go when I still fail, I still fail on that shot. So probably better to make it in, in the corner. Make it in the corner. But I, I expected that I would hit the seven, but I did not. So I'm not going to use so much left spin on this shot like I did the, the first time. There you go. Now I have a good shot on the fourth in there. That's nice. Very nice. Now I just need to go back and forth. One rail, two rail, three rails. Start somewhere here, then I can choose between the 12 or the 9 in the corner. Back and forth, and shoot soft. And I missed the shot. Missed the shot. So dark in here, very dark. I cannot, I cannot see. I'm blind, I'm blind, completely blind here. When the balls are near the rail, it's very dark for me. Soon I, I will want to, I'm going to take off this mask very soon. If, 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 if this continues, I'm going to take off the mask. And it continues. Switch to my Deadpool mask. I'm going to switch to my... I'm going to switch to my Deadpool mask. I can't. I can't take this anymore, okay? I can't. I cannot take it anymore. It's too dark. It's just way, just way too dark here in the evening to play with the blind pool mask. This that that blind pool mask is very good for tournaments, televised tournaments. That's where the blind pool mask is uh, really good at because the light is so bright. But now in the evening it is uh, late. Maybe I think it is soon uh, 7 p.m. Very very late. So it is so dark. Let's see if I can. Ooh, I can see again. I can see again. What's this? Ooh, I can, I can see very clearly now. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, there you go. You see, you see how easy it became. This became very easy for me. That's, that is very nice. That's very nice. And ooh, I can see, I can see the balls again. I make a do a shot. Go back. Then make a nine in the, in the corner. And here, I, there are two ways you can play this shot. Two ways. One way position, come up here for the eight, or just inside spin. And uh, I don't recommend amateurs uh, to select this inside spin shot because you can miss like that. So beginners and amateurs, I recommend that they shoot harder. Go that, that way with the cue ball. Shoot harder. And that's still a tough shot when doing that and shooting harder into the corner. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do, do it again. Yeah, something like that. I get snooker as well. I said, that is not good. That is not good to get snooker like that. So that is the reason why I, I want to select this uh, soft roll with in, inside speed, just because you want to avoid getting snooker like that. Going this way with the keyboard. When shooting hard, it is, it is tough to control. But if you select the soft inside speed, you need a lot of experience. Experience for that. That's just very nice. That's a very nice shot. And I, I will show it again. You, you need to choose the shot that uh, is best for, for, your, for your skill level. And it is not so easy for me either here. But the other alternative, when shooting hard, going that way, it is, it is, it is best suited for the beginners and amateurs. Like that. Beginners and amateurs, they want to play it like that. The scratch is dangerous, but that is something they just have to risk. Because they want to make sure to make the ball in the corner. They want to, you see, there you go, there's a scratch right there. You want to make sure to make the ball in the corner. Like it, if you make, if you use a lot of inside speed, it's getting much harder to make. And it, it's not guaranteed that you will make the shot. Like that. I will make it a little, little too far. I still have a shot in the side pocket. I will shoot a little softer. Shoot it a little softer. Shoot it a little softer this time. It makes it, uh, makes it tougher to make when shooting softer. That's the shot over there, very nice. And then the final shot. 
in a store. So that is how you plan ahead the eight wool rack. So this is the end of the video. Until next time, goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool. Play pool.